Hello, and welcome to another vlog with your host, Damon Standing. So this one is a, it is a fugly vlog, as you probably guessed, so make sure you're up to date. Uh, definitely with this one, make sure you're up to date. Um, go to puglycomics.com and uh, read, I really, really would read the other half of uh, uh, Jefferson Pugly B Bad Medicine, because this will go into it uh, very much. Uh, so today we're going to talk about something a bit more serious, but not as serious as next time, um, which is kind of uh, where everything went in Pugly. In, in, in fact, I'd say that um, Jefferson Pugly Bad Medicine is the fall of Pugly, and it's actually quite difficult for me to talk about because it's, it links with some very, very crazy stuff that happened in my life at the time. But weirdly, I'd written the book before, and it almost uh, self-fulfilled <laughs> in, a, in a crazy way. So, um, so uh, let's, go, let's go back to, um, to Take to the Skies for a minute. So take, Justin Bugley Takes to the Skies was written um, actually as my farewell for comic Cons. It was my final hurrah before uh, stopping doing comics and working on my thesis for the PhD. So that was in 2014-ish, uh, I think. And uh, Jefferson Pugley, no, maybe 2015 is when it actually came out. And Jefferson Pugley bad, v. Bad Medicine came out in 20, end of 2018. So that's quite a gap. It's the biggest Pugly gap. Um, and uh, so I, I was really happy at how Takes, Takes to the Skies uh, came out. Um, it was very, very well, well received. It was a really, really good send off for Pugly um, for that final Comic Con. But um, the return to Pugly, it was, it was quite difficult. It, it was uh, it was like a cold motor. It just wouldn't try and turn it over, and it just it just wouldn't come. Um, so I actually um, I'd written Jefferson Pugley the beginning of twenty eighteen, uh, where I was, I was I just stopped working for uh, uh, Roland, as in. Uh, as in that Roland, uh, which was a dream come true, but um, it was quite far away, and I was commuting, and uh, it got to the point where I was dangerously exhausted, um, and they were really, really good about it. And it turns on Roland, I cannot thank them enough for how uh, how supportive they were, because it was it was like a two hours each way. It ended up being when it got into the winter and I would never see any sunlight and it completely, uh, completely messed me up. Um, maybe caused me to make some really bad decisions. Um, but uh, the weirdest thing was uh, I actually started the first two comic pages of Justin Pugley Be Bad, Med Bad Medicine were drawn when I was living in Okinawa. And then stuff went horribly, horribly wrong. We won't get into that. Um, and I was back here. And I had to figure out what the hell had gone wrong in my life. Uh, the weird thing was I was now Dr. Eamon standing. And um, I was trying to draw Pugly yeah, and I couldn't. Uh, I think I was in complete shock. Um, so uh, I spent a few months just kind of rebuilding stuff and then I ended up getting a job um, uh, back in scientific stuff, which was fine. Um, but I was, uh, I was living alone in a very boring little town and um, I, uh, I started drawing Pugly again, which was great. It felt great. It felt absolutely amazing to be drawing Pugly again, but the person drawing Pugly was a completely different person to who drew the first three, let alone the 
picks the, picks the skies. And um, kind of, uh, it was it was a fall. It was very it was it was very much a fall. Um, and weirdly, like Puckley, who had, he'd got a dandelion seed stuck in his eye and was like covered and coned. Um, I was in a very similar situation, and um, I was very isolated. And doing Puckley was the only thing that was keeping me going. It was a very, very interesting um, experience. And um, it was weird how the story I'd written for Puggly was somehow happening, it to, me, happening to me at the same time. Um, and you can see that in the... Well, no, you you can't see that on the on the line version because I don't include the author's notes. But the if you if you got the book, if you had the book, the author's notes are a very very dark reflection of what was going on in my head um, when doing that story. And the weird thing about that probably is that uh, that probably book was um, I was in a very very bad place. I I was uh, a shadow of myself and. Um, which we'll get onto in the next video. Um, and uh, it was weird that, so you can see in, in Justin Pugley v. Van Medicine, basically he, he loses himself. He, in the world around him is distorted and um, he's ill, he, he, he is ill, um, even though it might just seem like a little, a, 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 just a tiny little seed caused that that much pain um and you can see the, 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 the there's got the horror film element in there and he's tripping out um but the person who comes to help him alex um he doesn't really recognize him as being his ally he's just blinded by everything that's happening to him and he lashes out and if you I mean, you know what Pugly's done, if you've if you've stuck around for this long. You know what Pugly is capable of, and there's that genuinely genuinely terrifying moment where it's like, is is Pugly going to unleash that power on the one person who cares about him more than anything? And um, obviously, I'm not I'm not Pugly in that way, but um, the, the 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 feeling of um, lashing out at people who are trying to help you uh it's if you've ever been in that situation it's horrible it's um you, you are literally blinded by all of this help that's in front of you but it doesn't look like help it just looks like it just looks like monsters in this um in, in, in this blinding world after you've been in darkness for so long I think the strangest thing is that this was written before it happened, and maybe I needed to experience it to be able to draw it, but I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. Um, and also there's a very, there's a cold loneliness in Jefferson Publi v. Bad Medicine that's not unlike the first book. It's a lot simpler. Although Vicky, Vicky is there, and you do have the vet, as well it's not it's not it's not an adventure it's com it's completely a, 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 an internal thing that book um and it's it's weird it's it's quite a strange pugly i think it's a very different pugly to um any of the other books which is why i think it's jefferson pugly v bad medicine it's the fifth book. It's uh, it comes after a lot of other stuff. But yeah, it's um, so it's kind of a weird video of kind of getting some getting some ideas off of what Jefferson Pugley V means to me, and it means a lot to me. And I I wonder if you felt that when reading it.
or if you think that it's way too buried in a story about a pug. Um, but next time we're going to, I mean, that's probably all I want to say about, about that book, but that's the context of which it lies and why it is the fifth one. Um, the next time we are going to delve into something a lot darker, um, to be warned, but it is, um, it concerns mental health and writing comics or any art. So I, I'm not sure if you can say you enjoyed this video, but, um, I do hope you stick around and, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for going on this journey.